Welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. I'm Adam. Today we're going to go with our uh, seventh session of the Mission of Good Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I, of course, have with me Nick, Austin, and Bob over here off of the camera. Hi, Bob. Nice to see you. <laughs> I do what I can. Try to show up every now and again. At least we can hear you. All right? Good. Mic's on. All right. So, uh, last time, uh, the party journeyed through uh, Mugwalla Marsh, and they learned that the... Uh, Killing lizards. Yep, killing lizards. I they, set one free. You killed them, monster. <laughs> After you promised to kill them. <laughs> but yeah, they learned that the lizard folk that live there are are, are fighting like it's a splintered uh, group. Uh, they spoke with one more more peaceful ish group um, that pretty much said that the poison that they're trying to stop that's coming from this general area um, is from the traitorous group, and they were led there. Um, and when the party reached uh, reached the hut of that second group. Um, a couple of the lizard folk ran out on, uh, on giant lizards, and they fought, and of course they killed the lizard folk and released the giant lizards into the wild. And uh, pretty much now the, uh, the party is standing there waiting to see if more are going to come out before they, they ride forward uh, to attack those, to attack that settlement and stop whatever is poisoning the water that's running all the way down the Grand River, poisoning multiple settlements of, uh, of good people. That, uh, that really rely on that water for, you know, drinking and such. Um, so anyone who's been chain-watching these videos, now's when new information is starting. Yeah. New information now! They're not riding out, out against you from their huts at this point. What do you do? Burn the huts? We're in a marsh. It's all Things in still catch on fire in marshes. Maybe they do. <laughs> Especially if it's Jared. <laughs> no, that's just a tangent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I, I, I know I would have started it, but thank you for not going off on a tangent from me. <laughs> I could not help myself. Yeah, we go ahead. Maybe it'll be peaceful now that we kill. Maybe these are like tyrannical overlords. Yeah. Maybe the guys inside would be nice. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Once again, we'll try to give them the benefit of the doubt. That is our job. Benefit of doubt. Huh. What? I have to change one little thing here. It's literally cutting off my head in that other camera. <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> it's like cutting right through my head. I was like, what's that doing? Oh, there's your face. Look how pretty you are. <laughs> I, I should have checked that beforehand, but we see how uh, professional we are, and these guys will hit me if I want to go through that intro again, so... Uh, so I hope you did buy that as their... You can just cut it out, man. I don't feel like cutting it. So what? No, just that's extra editing. What do you do now? I'm going to go into the town. <laughs> All right, so see, so, so who, uh, of course, you're leading the way, is that it? I feel like I ought to lead the way. Why, because you always do? Yeah, because I get hit in the face more often. And it's like, it's, fine. It's, you, it's him and me. We have the high ACs here. All right, your ACs is higher than me. It's your turn to get hit. Mine's 18. Oh, yep, it's still my turn. Yeah, I know. You're still... No, he has a good AC. His is a really good AC. You're trying to break the game. I'm not trying. <laughs> what are you talking about? AC's higher. As soon, as soon as I receive a hit, my AC goes higher for one turn. Yeah, once, yeah. For one turn. Which means if the combat's short, yeah. I'm not trying to break the game. I only it's have an accident. Three spells. <laughs> it's like you're, I, you're just succeeding. I slipped on a banana and the game broke. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're, uh, you're leading forward uh, to the group. Um... And, and, and it is a relatively small little hut group here, and maybe you get, you know, ten or five, five or ten feet from the first hut um, before you, out of the corner of your eye, catch something's moving behind one of the, like maybe the third hut over. There's someone outside of the hut that just, you know, was moving behind there. I walk over. Okay, so, so you... I investigate. Do you go between the huts, sort of like if they're sort of, you know, like a, you know... Yeah, a sure, let's make this... You... I, I'm, let's make this as horror movie as we can. I go between the huts. <laughs> You're like, this looks like an ambush, let's walk into it. <laughs> hey, I have never once regretted walking into an ambush. Hey, that's when Trevor a trap, walk into the trap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and I did it, and... Okay, cool, I already know what's going on. Also, it's possible that the guys we talked to were in the bad lizards, and these ones are cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but you guys those guys go. didn't outright attack us. 
yeah, but I'm just thinking from a storyline perspective, what a twist. These are the ones that have been ran out. They're afraid of people coming in. You do have I'm a, not that clever. You do have <laughs> a, kind of an M. Night Shyamalan style complexion over there. It's like, neither is Shyamalan. He's not that clever either. <laughs> what about we make it this? Not, that, that's a twist, it's not plot. It's just a twist. I, I don't know the difference. Yes, I know we don't. So you're walking towards that one behind the third hut, and uh, yeah, and the one from behind the second hut tries to stay a club down over your head. Now, now, let's see how well he does, but... Oh, he missed. So he... You're, you're walking a little faster than he anticipated, and the club swings right from behind your back. It'd be way funnier if I was walking a little slower than he anticipated. He'd just, like, hit the ground in front of me. <laughs> but I will allow initiatives. Just don't use that voice again, for the love of God. <laughs> I didn't try to use it in the first place. I got 20. Did you over there on I the got paper? I 12. Oh, right, I forgot we have a thing over there. We didn't have I'll let it. you keep it, 20, it's like, whatever. It's like we didn't have it in the Friday Three. Game. This is what the dice would look like. <laughs> yeah. Three for day. I was like, I rolled 19, don't take that away from me. Yeah. That's the only one you're going to get this whole day. And what was yours? I got 12. Mm. I rolled really badly. Let's see, they got... I feel like this is rigged. It's not fair. How come I didn't get to hit on my thing? Surprise action. <laughs> okay, so you uh, you you guys both see at least this one that just hit him. Um, For the record, I don't cry out because I ain't no punk. Yeah, but he just sort of whimmed out from behind the thing trying to hit you. I know that's scary, and I didn't jump because I ain't no punk. But uh, awesome, you get uh, your first uh, reaction as you might so choose. You guys are probably twenty feet back, maybe. Oh yeah, that's cool. twenty, and then maybe. 30 after that. <laughs> what do I have a rage spell? Oh, I don't. Ooh, and this would be a nice hey, time you, to... You have that necro one. Yeah, the chill sure. touch. And oh, chill touch. Yeah, that's right. Chill touch isn't actually a melee spell. It's a hand that shoots out. This would be a good time for me to point out. I've decided that with your familiar... It, uh, based on whatever, it's, if it's six high, it's higher, it's before, if it's lower, it's after. But essentially, it's on your same initiative, but either just before or it's after higher. you, because, yeah, because I don't feel like keeping track of it separately. It's as much as they high. might have felt that was such a balanced and good way to do it, it's more work for me. So it's always, I guess, if it's higher, it's always right before you. It's just always. <laughs> it doesn't have a turn. It's not in existence right now. Okay, but the, just just as a note, and so people know, that's that it's too much work to... And it's like, that, guy, that guy's expensive. He doesn't get to come out and come that very often. My <laughs> favorite thing is that he hand drew this whole map. Too much work. Hand, hand drew the map. Very lovely. Beautifully done. We watched him spend hours and hours doing this during other gaming sessions. Nine. Too much work to figure out how the familiar rules work. And he loves familiars. Yes. I know it, how they work. It's too much work for me to every combat... Keep yeah. track of another. That's why I use it's Chill Touch. It's just like an NPC. Chill Touch has yeah, and track. most NPCs that aren't d are directly involved in the combat, I so, don't feel like doing. So we're behind them, and we're not going to tell Can I even? Can I even have like line of effect to the lizard who's off to the side? Yeah. Right. He, he's pretty much. He is in between you and Bob. Oh, he, he walked. He out. like came out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Shoot him with Chill Touch. It's a D8 of necro damage. Roll the it's, 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 I get a plus six. Nine. Three. No, I get a plus five. It's eight. You miss. I tried. You did try. You know what? A for effort. I didn't get that 19 out of the way already. It's all downhill from there. And, uh, and, and of course, after you would be, uh, well. Oh, I'm going to stab him. Going to try. Uh... 22? Yeah, you're gonna hit. <laughs> That's what you're gonna do. Everyone is at 21. No, it doesn't matter. It Five damage. Five damage? Yes. Get rid of all these dice I don't ever use because it confuses the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm getting excited, sorry. And then, uh, well, he is going to then, as you stab him, he's taking that club and he's gonna try and hit you. You damage. fool! You missed! Oh, hold on. Hold on. He needs 17 to hit me. Yeah, he gets 20. 
Yeah, he's How do you know what he gets as his bonus? Because, because it's the same as time. every other enemy needs a 17 to hit me. Every single enemy you have you mean ever... From, you mean from last week? No, from every week. Every enemy that you've put up against me needs a 17 to hit me. They just have you to have just plus have to, 5. Yes, all yeah, of this them. This isn't plus 5, this plus is four. plus 4. Yeah. Plus four. They need and a how are they all the same? That, that can't be right. <laughs> it is right. Every one of them needs a 17 to hit then me. Then why, why do you remember this? And I have to look up the bonus every time. <laughs> uh... Because I think it's funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's important to him. He has to know what hits him, so he can call you on it. <laughs> hey, but this other one gets plus twenty. Take that. <laughs> oh, and he, he hits the crap out of me. <laughs> like, Rolls a one. Tries try, try a spell. <laughs> that would only give him an advantage. But anyways, the one that you'd seen before takes a step out, throws a javelin towards you. Yeah, I feel that was multiple. And this is. It's not a 17. I feel that was and then from the, uh, one of the other huts from the other side, a uh, uh, lizard folk uh, runs out, and uh, and as she as she's running, she pulls a flaming, uh, essentially a pillar of fire, a sword of fire from, from its sheath, and swings that towards you. What kind of sword? Scimitar? No. Nope. Long sword. It's a long sword. That is not finessable. No, it's not. It's not two-handed either. Yep, still not. Yet. <laughs> and she's going to get a magic weapon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're just assuming that you're going to kill her? Come on, what's with you guys? I'm going to kill her first now. <laughs> you, you wrote that poor uh, lady's no, death warrant. Nope, I won't do that either. <laughs> I can't use martial weapons. Let's just leave it in the marsh. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. But... <laughs> For selling reasons or something. No, no, no. no. Let's well, leave, it, see, it, let's uh, just leave I, it in the marsh and have some poor kid look it up, look flaming it up. items. Look it up. Um, Lots of swords are martial. I can't use them. They're not versatile. Not you, actually. Someone else look it up. Because it's your turn. Right. They've all gone and they've all missed. Look up long swords? Okay, I hit them. What do you want to know about long swords? Oh, that it's not versatile. No. It's not. Yeah, long sword is ver versatile. Is it? Uh, versatile is whatever. You can wield it with two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is what I would see yeah, it's versatile. But it's yeah. not going to deal more damage than his weapons. Probably not. Well, except for the magical part. Yeah, at best it's going to be a lot of D6 plus a D6. Anyways, which yeah. is... So it's a good fire starter. At best it would be equivalent <laughs> to his greatsword. Hey, I can use it to light my pipe. Charge forward. And... I'm going to say... No, not yet. If she gets dangerous, I'll call her my true well, sword. Well, you have to remember that... You have to go around the huts to get to her, because in between... Uh, her, I'm thinking yeah, we're in a lane, like, the huts are here and here, you're in between these two, and she just came out from over I'm here. I'm thinking, like, Long Island-style alleys, where they're all real narrow. I don't know yeah, how Yeah, I mean, how it, it, it's probably 15 are. apart. You're in oh, a, okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, you're fine. Never mind. Yeah. I, I was thinking, like, there were narrower lanes. No, it's, it's just sort of... I mean, and none of them are quite even, because they're based on where there's more solid or less solid patches of earth. In the marsh. Hmm. That's a full action to cast that. That really cuts into my murder. <laughs> Bless. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna go up to Flaming Sword Lady. I'm gonna try to say she doesn't have a turn. <laughs> Another one. He's gonna try to murder her in one swing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're gonna. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Power attack. Power attack. Power attack. Twelve. Twelve misses. Oh, need one more. So okay. only you were blessed. <laughs> yes. No, their AC is thirteen. That's my bad. Anyways, after Nick is Austin. Yeah. Um. Let's try again. Six. So Eleven. It's five. Miss. <laughs> Yay. Hey, I remember Good team. Your dice. Uh. Seventeen. Hey. Eight damage. Nope. Seven damage. To which one? Uh, the one I stabbed before. Okay. So seven damage? Yeah. I concentrate on one person. Yeah, no, it's... 
understand. You're, and also, he's thinking your when, your turn, when your turn comes, you might actually just yeah, down her in one. You, he's over there at the murder club of doom. I don't. Well, know. again, with no, your no, it's the murder great sword. <laughs> oh, he switched to the murder great sword. No, no, I had the murder great sword the last combat. There's nothing that says these people would take more from blunt. Cutting in half, I always feel. Oh, what's fair. that? Oh, what does that look like? What does that look like? Seven. Teen. It was a seventeen. You can't just go moving the dice around. <laughs> it's yeah. very similar to seven. Does it actually deal damage, though? It does. Because he hasn't raged yep. yet. I take uh, three damage. Five damage. Five damage. Okay. Uh, did you rage both times in that earlier fight? I believe I did. I don't know. It's been weeks. I don't, mm -hmm. know, I don't know whose fault that is. But, uh, but the other one on the other side of you is going to miss you. And then you just came and... So yeah, may wait at, at her, so she's gonna go for you. She's gonna miss you. I mean, you're pretty low, but that's 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 gonna be like a nine. So hey, <laughs> I'm sixteen. I'm not pretty low. Pretty I'm low. just low, low to, to the, the party. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're like almost down to like the the the, the enemy level of AC. You're just <laughs> saying, fix the average. Yeah. So <laughs> But anyways, it, it, it is your turn as she swings fire. Like, fire's, like, going, like, right by here, man. Power attack. 18. Hit. Okay. Five. Eleven. You know, she doesn't need to live. That's a... So I'm, I'm relatively sure you'll kill her with your plus ten. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. But he has to really kill her, like, really bad for me to actually have her die <laughs> in, in this one attack. Eleven, twelve, twenty-three, plus three, twenty-six. Thirty-six. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite doubling her life, but... <laughs> I would technically be alive from that. <laughs> <laughs> Super technically. Hey, you would have still took 12 full damage from Radiant. No, that's not psychic, even if he's raging. No, 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 no. I mean, without raging, I still will have survived it. Oh, okay. Anyway, With awesome. raging, yeah, I, that's not psychic. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you already hit the psychic level. Oh, yeah. You're old yeah. five. Yes. Yay. It's just not your day, but you know what? You're going first. Yeah, you're casting so <laughs> many spells. You're still over there lighting up, <laughs> doing the light show. Skeletal magic hands. All oh, damn it. Was there someone close to her? Uh within five five feet of you. You mean? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Yeah. Same one. I'm guessing. Nine damage. Yeah. To the same one. Just nine? Just nine. No, no, no. Was he at just nine? <laughs> no, no, he has a hit point left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that, leaves, that, leaves, that leaves him a chance rock. to try and miss you again. And his friend, he, like, like these club, uh, clubs now are just like on both sides. <laughs> and you're just like, <sighs> but really you're probably... <clears throat> yeah, I'm just <laughs> taking it. Taking them all the Taking side. it like a champ. Taking it like a champ. Rope and open all over the place. I see myself just Pretty being crazy step, awesome with that shield. One. Yeah. Uh, not power attack. Which one? The one Bob's hitting. Okay. Because I can fall him and hit another one is why. I'm not asking. <laughs> no, no. Really? I, I, I just visually the nope, idea... can't foul him. No, not, not with that uh, five, with that eight. <laughs> yeah, no. But really, visually, the, the the cleave on that would be hitting this guy, skipping over Bob, and hitting the guy on the other side. Really? Uh, no, no, we do, like, Avengers battle. He swings over me, and I somehow magically know he's there and dodge. <laughs> you jump over the sword. I've been... Lost it. You want to try and secure this kill? You secure Kill, kill. kill yeah. secure! Yeah. <laughs> I'd do a D8 of damage. Yeah. It's at least one. It's at least one. So you, you, you secure the kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, effective. Come on, Bob. We work they, both, they both killed somebody here. We work together to get the job done. <laughs> I face tank like a champ. <laughs> I should be face tanking. I don't have to roll dice to do that. <laughs> I don't roll dice. Uh, 
Yeah, how do I need to roll no, a no. dice to turn my ace? Yeah, 11 didn't hit him. But it's like I don't have to roll a dice to turn my ace. Or does it? Does 11 hit him? No. No. Okay. Why'd you have that face? He's thinking if this guy's gonna Yeah, run. no, this guy, this guy now is starting to leave town. Okay. Attack of opportunity. No, he disengaged. Oh, okay. disengaged and go. Yeah, he could have attacked and left. He just chose. No, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just. You gonna understand? Drive. I have to run him down now. That that's really up to you. Sadly, I have to run him down in the name of God. He's poisoning all of those people down the land. He's hurt his fellow man okay. by laying this. Um, are you paying any attention to the person that you downed? He's a lizard person. He's not a man. It doesn't matter. It is a sentient being. You, you, they all have to answer for all the other sentient beings. These guys are obviously dicks, and there's no excuse for being a dick. Good and evil. <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty sure I cut her in half. So, no, if that guy starts running, I start going after him. Okay. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I don't have... Uh, I totally do. What's the damage on a javelin? D6, and that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hit, smite, bite, bite. Uh, no, miss. Mm -hmm. um, just, yeah, I stand there, I just pull out a jab and throw it down. Bob, from you, you've off. been you've been ranging all this time, right? Yep. So probably 50 feet? Grease. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's within In my marsh. range. Hey, hey, Grease is a spell. It doesn't care about actual Yeah, conditions. only a 60 foot range. Sure does. Barely within range. For Grease? Um, That'd be hilarious if you fell. Uh, nope, I'm just going to use something that doesn't require attack rolls. I'm magic gonna use, missile? I'm going to use magic missile. <laughs> I get three uh, 1d4s plus one. Three! So four, two, six, and. Eleven. Eleven. Pew, pew, pew. And then Bob. Okay. I do my 30 feet movement. Okay. Is he in range? Let me hit him. Yeah. Him. Okay, good. I don't have to use my javelins. I don't you those. have more movement than 30 feet? or Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Barbarians don't get that first level anymore. It's terribly sad. That's okay. Yeah. Was it first level? Uh, he takes okay. six damage. Mm -hmm. Is he okay? He's gonna try and dash this turn. You get an attack of opportunity. I hit him. He takes ten damage. Ten? Nope. Nope. Eight. 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 Yeah, he collapses. <laughs> he just turns on. I stab him straight in the back. Now, once he felt your hit, he's like gonna risk it. He's like, no, I'm just gonna go down if I cannot run him. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't. Have. I have javelins too. Okay. And far more dex than me. Yeah, I can dex the crap out of them. They just don't get dex to their... Hooray. Look down at Lady Lizard. The, uh, the the water around it's almost, you know, definitely glowing a bit and, the you know, definitely heating up from the boiling from the fire on the sword. Put sword underwater under other swords? It's, yeah, it's under. Oh, uh, your sword under... Yeah. The hilt's fine. Yeah, okay. I lift it up so I can see the hilt. I'm not reaching my hand into the boiling water. Okay. Oh, come on, Nick. <laughs> boiling water don't hurt nobody. Pick I put sword. my hand in boiling water all the time. It's fine. It's on fire. Mm. Well, isn't it made of fire? I sit there... And no, it, it's a long sword that is on fire. Okay. Stare at it for, like, ten minutes. He spends ten minutes staring at this flaming sword of fire. To attune to it. <laughs> Does it require it? Well, Most guess. magical items do. Yeah. yeah. It's like, huh. I don't know the lizard word for off. I should probably try to attune to it to turn it off. <laughs> okay. I throw my stick at the ground and start playing with my wolf. It does require attunement. Mm. Only, oh, only a small portion of it really matters, I guess, though. Mm. Yeah, I, uh... But yeah, but most of it it'll do without a tuning. Look, yeah, but, I don't but, know, but the knowing how to turn it on and off is part of tuning. <laughs> Put it in a sheath. In its sheath, oh. specifically. Put it in a sheath. Yeah, do I realize way. that once I attune to it? Put it in its sheath. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I look around on her body to try to find one. Yeah. Okay. It's on her belt. Sheath. Sheath. Camera's too high. Oh. Yeah. That's the end of that camera. Hi, this camera. 
<laughs> yeah, I always look around for the source of this poison and survivors. Uh, investigation check. For you, I will mention, essentially, it is always on fire when outside of a sheath. Mm-hmm. Attuning allows you to actually pull it from the sheath. Um, I got a it tent. provides light 20 foot and then 20 foot again. For I'm good. Try to right investigate down. as well. And I'm then, uh, not trained in it. And yeah, it doesn't actually D6 in it. I got an 11. Alright, so what was your 10. 10 and 11? Mine was better than his. Yeah, um, he, hold on. He, I investigate the crap out of this with my 17. So you guys are both looking around. You figure out, I wonder if it's that hut at the end of this lane. <laughs> What's my minus one? <laughs> I have a plus three. <laughs> I have a minus one. I like they're very, they're much better covering the area as a whole. You're just like, I bet it's that one. Let's go check that one. <laughs> just saying, I got a plus three, but that makes my mass check like a thirteen. Yeah, basically can't get higher. But uh, but yeah, see, so you you go down there and and definitely from from almost like inside kind of thing. Yeah, you figure out that this is where it's coming and there's. There's just sort of junk around. Like, like this is this is a bit of a hoarder's kind of small putt. Do they need to <laughs> refrigerate this clam meat? Okay. Quit being From stupid. Skyrim hoarders. No? Okay. I have no idea. It's a video on I'm the in interwebs. It's quite amusing. Third person mode. Third person mode. I can't grab it. I'm in third person mode. A D10 plus a D6 is bigger. So. Yeah. yeah. There we go. It is a D10 plus a D6. Hmm? Yeah, I couldn't wield it. I don't wield martial weapons. I wield simple weapons. But yeah, you and, and also yeah, you can pretty much find. Um, Sweet. I have a magical weapon. You know, at the but very least, isn't just turned into a wolf or stay clean. Hey, <laughs> yeah, stay clean, stick. <laughs> I'm just saying, my wolf is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you find um, like a flask that you know, as you pick up, the, the flask is just spewing sludge. Oh, so I shouldn't drink that. Um, it is, Cap? let's see. Uh, uh, so it's like... Yeah, it is producing five gallons per round. For every six seconds, five gallons are spewing out of this thing. So, so it's just a rocket ship of poison. Yeah. Now what we really need to do is find an opening yeah. to the underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it stops. Okay. Can we find an opening to the underdark? <laughs> what underdark? Does not exist in I this world. I feel like I should break this, but I don't know how. I feel uh, like that that could be probably figure it out. Yeah. How is that not useful? <laughs> it's totally useful, but totally evil and just dickatry. Uh, maybe we could take like a church and consecrate or something, turn into like holy water. Something, maybe. <laughs> holy sludge. <laughs> Are you okay with that? But uh, do you call and let him know? Yeah, it was like that. And probably should go through the. Yeah, I'm going through that. I don't have detect magic, but I, I start going through and start oh, yeah, shifting looks, stuff into yeah, piles. Yeah, totally looks into organizing. Piles. Yeah. yeah. I was like, huh, I really hope that's all that is, but so that's clothes. Put that on belt. Look around for other stuff to make sure nothing else is going wrong here. Anything else obviously just fucked up. You can go feed it to the Kraken, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> um. What What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Anything else spewing or on fire or noticeably magic? There is um, like uh, just hey. a stick of metal, um, just sort of defying gravity, maybe in the middle of the. Room. Oh my god! A moving rod. I love maybe. those things. Maybe. No, it totally is. What? You, uh, yeah, I no, no. You You can point yourself closer to it. <laughs> moving rods are hilarious. They're the best are, way to lock doors. Are those common non- knowledge magical items enough to have I've ever heard of one? Probably not. Yeah, okay. I talked to him, push the button. Boop. You're not there. I'm in the car you're, being drunk. You're investigating <laughs> the huts along one lane like he's going on the other side. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, that's going to be the top of one pile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just start trying to organize stuff into groups, like weapons over here, clothes over well, here. Very few in the way of weapons. It is largely, uh, at the very least, you figure out, you know, there's some random bits and bods, some bits of clothing, some little bits of, you know, you know, costume, possibly some actual jewelry. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Uh, Any actual gold and stuff I'll put into our treasure. Yeah, it, it, the thing, yeah, actual money, not not apparent. Oh, okay. um, definitely looks like they robbed a the kitchen. The pans, pots, silverware, cups, plates, etc., etc., half of which broke it, it, it is the majority of what you find in here. Um, but there's other things, um, something that definitely definitely could be a wand. Um, or a stick. I'm not <laughs> sure if it's wand or stick. Wand or a nice car. So a stick someone put some work into kind of thing. Uh, okay. um, <laughs> a whittling project. But yeah, yeah. So, so yeah... Closed up Any the survivors? In the village? I mean, we're searching the other huts. Was this whole band of traitor lizards made up of, like, five people? Effectively. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> How many huts are there? There's, like, eight. <laughs> Did they all <laughs> die? Plan to expand! <laughs> <laughs> they were working on it. <laughs> I do call out. There was only one lady lizard. <laughs> they were working on it. This is like the original plan of the Apes movie. <laughs> Uh, I, I basically called down the lane. I think I found the poison stuff and stopped it. And we, there's also some other stuff in here. Do either of you do anything to his call? Yeah, so I go uh, and check it out. Because there's an immovable rod. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't know about. The there's only some... thing that I would be more excited about is a rod of rope. The only thing I'd be more excited about is a bottle of Transform into Were Rat. Disguise as a potion to gain three stats. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> I hate you all. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> oh, it's a potion. You drink it, you get three stats. Oh, well, that. Nah, it was a Were Rat curse potion. If ever I want him to just rage quit, I'll, I'll, I'll remember that. No, I won't quit. I'll just be a problem. <laughs> I will be a problem. <laughs> I'll make my problem your problem. <laughs> Like a throw solution. For <laughs> because remember, D and D is a two way street. <laughs> you think you have all the power, but you you don't have all power the power overwhelming. <laughs> for the mask. Cool. So yeah, we go and check out this thing. And then we go, yeah, it's magic. And we spend ten minutes. How do you, how you know it's magic? magic? It's floating in midair. That yeah, notoriously mundane crap doesn't float. Or you can't also not move it. <laughs> I yeah. push a button. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's magic. Why? It's floating. That's a pretty good indicator that it's magic. <laughs> There's a button, and I push the crap out of it. Yeah, and it moves. <laughs> Me and mine. <laughs> well, otherwise, yeah, we use detect magic ritual. Yay. Or I yeah. use a detect magic ritual. Rod's magic, decanter's magic, that robe over there's magic. Robe? Yes, the robe. The, uh, the, the wand-like object is a wand, it's magic. Um, but sword's magic. Yeah, the sword, uh, the, 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 the flask, and um, and there's a there's like a pendant that's uh, hanging on the wall. Ooh, I check out the pendant. Okay. Quit touching magical stuff. Put it on. Okay. It explodes. Tell tell him it explodes, please. I stare at it for ten minutes. He needs to learn about. He learns a lot less about picking up random magical goods that he doesn't know what to do. Just saying. I'm very, just. It would be very easy. To he has a magic bottle you can drink from. Since we've pl started playing <laughs> together, every time there's a magical item put in my path or a potion, I drink it or use it without, like said, and you, it you has killed like, me more often than not. I don't need to throw more cursed items at him. I get cursed items all the time, usually from you. <laughs> I like cursed items. Mm -hmm. You stare at it for ten minutes. You stare at you it. Stare at it. Yeah, whatever. A tune, whatever you call it. That big. Can how many items can you be attuned to? Three. Oh. Let's see, so it's a pendant, a robe, right? A pendant, a robe, a decanter, a wand, and a rod. Mm-hmm. Now I just need two so I can find Also, things. what do you think we should do with the decanter that just spews poison? Uh, Have you, you tried know. opening it? No. Try opening it. Well, that's the point, is we would either try to find a way that makes it not spew poison via ritual uh, purification or something like that. For example, yeah, go open it up. Does it still spew poison? Uh, five can more gallons won't hurt anything. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I use purify food and water to purify yeah, you it? you open it. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it still uh, sloshes around when you shake it as if there's, like, a liquid in there. One, but just opening it, cancer. nothing happens. Uh, okay, oh, so... What? So it has to be attuned to. Maybe. Not necessarily. Um, okay, so I got to take magic. 
I don't have identify. How do I go about? Uh, can I just look at the wand and figure it out? Being a wizard. So mm. Ironically, a wand of identify. Is it in his spell? Uh, like I said, I don't know how that works. Yeah. Is, is there a way for me to figure out these things without being identify, or without using it? Yeah, you can just spend time with him. Uh, we'll do that. I'm spending time with my. Yeah, you're trying to spend ten minutes of tune and just like, oh, I know what it does now. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'll try and figure it out. I'm I'm a studious person. Mm-hmm. I, but yeah, you, you feel a little more a uh, little more healthy while you while you're wearing. I jump in the air. But you feel jump more normal height. Yeah. Um, you're resistant to disease. How? Does, how fast does it heal? It's not no healing immediately, right? so probably <laughs> later. I'm doing an experiment. If you just wait, I'm sure I can figure out at least a little bit about it. But yeah, the... the very well, I shall attempt patience. <laughs> as I play with the puppy. <laughs> you, you take your puppy out in the marsh! What? It's covered in filth. Yeah. That's fine, it turns back into a clean stick. No, his is a Ironically, stick, I can throw him and he comes back to me, it's like playing fetch. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a clean stick. You have a normal one. Normal? It turns into a freaking wolf. Mine turns into a clean... <laughs> His repels the dirt. <laughs> Can I clean myself by rubbing the dirt on me with it? it it's, it not the qu- it's not the quickest way of doing it, but... It, yeah. it, 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 enough to, it, it, it would be quicker to do it mundanely. But the fact that it works might be a little entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> like you just can wrap your underwear no, no, around no, it. It's more just like the idea of if uh, you know you're not, if you just want to be clean, but there's nothing to clean yourself with. You're just rubbing this on you. What are you doing? Clean it. Just imagine like every time you're walking outside of a restaurant, the, 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 the you just take more gonna move so. two other parts of your body yeah, as it goes. Just, but mm, it's <laughs> you just shave the dirt down. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna try and go to the sides, but bits will fall off. So eventually you'll get it. Yeah. Take it, rub it between your hands. But yeah, wand decanter. Um, and it yeah, um, robe covered in uh, cloth patches. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> well, we'll try and figure that out. I do what I need to try and figure out what these items do without identify. I have to take magic. How long are you going to spend here? Uh, we can spend the entire night. As long until as it takes. I either succeed or come to a conclusion, I'm not going to get any more. Okay, I'll go ahead and find a dry spot in the middle of town, set a fire, give these lizards the rights, then burn them. She set fire, burn, burn. <laughs> I was going to do a mundane Then I remember I now have no flaming sword. <laughs> I pull out my pipe. And, and so, what, right, so are either of you trying to do any items? or? You... Yeah, sure, I'll totally try. I'm keeping You watch. just stick with, with the pendant? Yeah. And, and your rod and... I rolled an 18, I got 19. If it's intelligence, or wisdom, or charisma. If it's mental. Yeah, if it's strength, I got a minus. <laughs> <laughs> the only minuses I have are the strength. Uh, but yeah, whatever. With, with the amount of time he, he's working, at the very least, obviously you know what the rod does. It's, it's, it's the classic one. Uh, the parapet, parapet of wound closure, also standard item. Um, pretty much uh, auto-stabilize when you're dying at the start of your turn. And when you roll hit dice, you get extra. Oh, that's good. For healing. Does yeah. it require attunement? I believe so. It'll say at the top right there. It requires right. attunement. Yeah, ah, I was going to say, we just passed that around when everyone knew it was injured. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't need install to stabilize that attunement. See, I feel as the most get deady, I should have that. I feel as the most gets hitty, I should have that. Well, how many times have you gone down so far? I believe once. Uh, it should still be him, too. Both me and you have access to self-heal. True. What if we're down? Yeah. That's yeah true. He's so. the person most likely to have need of not die. I'm yeah. also usually far away from you, too. Yeah. So you're starting with the wand, or...? Yeah, we'll start with the wand. Okay. It yeah. could be a wand of identify. It's possible. That'd be awfully for- fortuitous. Whatever, I'll, I'll let you do what I guess, like, uh, arcane... Arcane what? Check. Oh, that's a skill. Intelligence? Yeah. I have that. Yeah, it's your wizard. Well, I, that doesn't mean anything. He's, He's a, a lot of things. things. I have a lot of things. I like cross-classing. I get a plus five to that. That's on the box. 
That's, less That's much less than you got on the table. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, it's in the box now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for using the box. I get like a 12. I think it was a 6. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it, it detects stuff. At the very least, you you get it to show up as being magic again. If you, you mean show up as magic again. You recast detect magic. Oh. <laughs> Playing around a bit more, you can also detect other things, good, oh, it's evil. Oh, detect magic spell? Detect it's magic, detect good and evil, or detect poison and disease. It's got up to three charges, receives a D3 of them, day we get done. Oh, so it only has three charges? Yeah. Three charges, but it regains. Pretty much, you, you, in figuring out, you've used its charges, but yeah, it regains and it has... Can anyone th- use it, or just me? Um, it doesn't say Yeah, it's, it doesn't require it's a tunement. So anyone can use that. Yeah. Wow. Generally, it, it, you know, you, you stumble. Essentially, you start it based on whatever the words are. Definitely part of the spells that you already know the first of, yeah. and yeah. So it's not actually an actual wand. It's like a neat item. Do we still have? It's a wand. One? Do we still have? Like, it's no it, it's wands. A usually have just recharging charges. No. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. I we had this is like the first magic items we got, man. I don't know how these work. <laughs> I've read through the magic. Oh, uh, so to have the ability to detect uh, detect stuff. Um, you're a paladin. You can already do that, can't you? Uh, somewhat. Not magic. Not magic, no. Well, I, we don't really ever need that on the fly. I can't detect track. Well, you don't need to. You're, nope. You're, you're hyper Oh, track. also, with the poison and disease, you find some. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually, you cast the poison as a disease. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's around. It's starting to break up a bit as it goes downstream. So they're going to be you poisoned. Realize, um, I'm, I'm physically giving you the pieces of paper yeah. to keep them. That's why I gave you folders now. Okay. Yeah. So you, I'm if still you writing it down. Okay, if you want, that's fine. Um, but. But, uh, by the way, I'll go ahead and do that here. Uh, since it was probably pulling a lot of the poison here, I just go ahead and do Purify here <laughs> inside the tent. Uh, just to make sure that we don't have some giant vat of poison spilling out anymore. Do you continue with uh, trying to figure out what... Uh, yeah. You have the robe and the decanter, I believe, are the ones you haven't figured out. Yeah. We'll go with the robe. We already know that the decanter mostly does. We just don't know how to activate it. Okay. Um, how long is this taking? Can I take a long rest of this amount of time? No, it'll probably camp here. Yeah, you'll probably camp here overnight. Then that's why I set up the fire and stuff and keeping the first watch. Yeah, because you got to pair up... You were just catching sure. people on fire. I didn't know you were actually... Uh, setting an actual fire. Piring yeah, bodies is important. Yeah, firing. Yeah. Give them their final rites to the All-Father. And then we start cooking over their corpses. No, no, I, I do that slightly out of town, then I make an actual <clears throat> in-town fire. Rod, decanter, we know what the sword is. Mm-hmm. Don't start a brush fire in the marsh. Um, so yeah, we know what the rod is. So, As yeah. Let's start with Austin's the rod. Been it's asked. got, you know, different patches, look like objects. The uh, patches have, like, pictures of objects on them? Yeah. Um, whatever. You know, pick, I don't pull any of them off. You don't? No. Not unless I absolutely have to to prove the point. But yeah, different, different patches. If I can even make a slight assumption that pulling these off will make magic things happen, that's the assumption. Go ahead and make another arcane pick with this one. In the box. You're old 18. The box apologizes for its former shenanigans. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, you think that, 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 that'll, that'll do. You know, you, there, there's a, a, patch of, a picture of a dagger, one of a, of a lantern. A couple, a couple that look like they're they're sort of steel plates, you know, flat flat plates. Um, um, one that looks like just like a pole. A uh, couple that looks like coils of rope. Um, Neat. A, 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 a empty bag, a full bag, um, a ladder, a horse, uh, some red vials, a uh, a small like like a rowboat, and uh, like what, maybe sort of like a like a battering ram. <laughs> Uh, what armor? You, what armor do you wear? I don't wear armor. You don't wear any armor? No, not allowed to. Oh, yeah. Campfire rings wear light? Nope. Not anymore. Used to be yes, no, no. Uh, but they have two stats to their AC, so... Yes, which is why I chose them. Because so I'm not allowed to be a monk, so I might as well be a barbarian. So it's a robe of utility stuff. It's a robe of useful items. Do you need fire attunement? Oh. So we can just carry this around and use it in a patch. So nobody actually has to wear this piece of ugly. <laughs> They're just reaching the bag, tears stuff off. Yeah, if the robe was pretty or something. All right, All right so we got a robe of useful items. Let's work on the decanter and figure out how to do. I feel like Vic should be in charge of it. The robe? Yeah. Robe of useful yeah. items. What do you think, man? 
Yeah, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you look like either someone from, like, the 80s with the patched blue jeans. The or 1480s. <laughs> no. I think it'd be the 1980s. No, 14 probably close. <laughs> Based on our, yeah, probably close to 14. Um, yeah, so, so what ahead, do you do with work that? on the decanter. What do you get the room? Uh, we keep the phone in the bag. Who? Me. Yours. <laughs> Figure out who to do the sheets of magic I have to. Um, really? Two steel mirrors? Yes. Two of them. Yeah. There are also definitely spots where patches have already been, where there used to be patches that have been removed. So I don't have all these? No, th those are what's left. Okay. Point being, that those are just the things that not everything got removed. Yeah, we have to wear it to take the patches off. Yeah, you have to throw it on to take the patches off. Looks like you're wearing a silly robe. You must wear the ugly. But, if you want hey, to use. unless any of that is something you need, you're going to need really quick. No, you you wait till after the battle. You throw on the robe, take off the robe. <laughs> it's a robe, man. It's not some complex device to put on. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not. It's not armor. <laughs> Ten minutes to on and take off. Yeah, work on the decanter. Um, even even decanter. without a check, just just you know looking through it, maybe ten minutes. Uh, you know, you you you, you, you kind of figure it out quick. And a gallon of sludge splurts out and it stops. Continuous. And it gushes out continuously with no Purified. sense of stopping. Purify. Purify gets a small portion of it as it's going out. It's not even, you know, it's ending before. <laughs> so I can't just cast Purify and fix the whole canter. Mm -mm. Well, at least I tried. But closing it stops it until you tell it to go continuous again. No, it is actually a decanter of endless sludge. <laughs> Nice. We'll try and see if we can... Why is that in the book? It's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> the ones that are in the book actually say at the top that are in the book. These are ones that I made, and that's why I typed them out. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> only two of the items, maybe three, were actually... Yeah, three were... Hooray! We have a thing of poison. <laughs> could Slugs. totally shoot that in someone's face. Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Just put down their throat. Continuous. That would kill them within seconds. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> you have appropriately realized why I was doing it. It's about a, about a gallon a second. You, you could go. do that with, like, a healing potion. It would still <laughs> freaking kill them. <laughs> well, there we go. We, uh... Hooray. You know, they were fighting any big dinosaurs that swallow us. That's how that goes. No, you said a few. I said three. Hey, does the decanter count as a light weapon? It doesn't count as a weapon, it's an item. Well, could you use it while swallowed? Oh. <laughs> if I'm if going you down, have I'm it in hand? hand? Yeah, no, I was going to wear it on my belt. And then just, like, swallow me, bitch. <laughs> it's what like are you grenade. fighting that you think is going to swallow you? Yeah. This is D&D. &D. There are a lot of things that can have the swallow whole ability. Heck, are you biting any of them right now? No, not right now, but... Just no, putting inside of the ooze. Well, ideally, we'd go to try and find, like, a big church or something and see if maybe they can, like, holy it up. Make it not sludge. <laughs> Make my sludge item not sludge. <laughs> I don't want it to be poisonous sludge. <laughs> Why can't it just be water? So I can be like, oh, you guys are having a drought? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, even the decanter of, uh, of endless water does not do it continuously. There is no just keep going. All of them stop. You can keep telling it to start. I special made a this never ends property. Because <laughs> obviously the wizard wasn't going to be spending her time doing this. This is just something she found. Eh, whatever. <laughs> this she poison. makes bad choices. <laughs> well, um, once Why? Again. Just because it, it drew a party of adventurers to her home to kill her? Yeah. That, well, I guess that was a bit of. She didn't have the immovable rod on her, because that would have been awesome. How would that have stopped me from cutting her in half? Just put it in the way. Because it's clip. just right in the way as you yeah. as you go and you hit the movable rod. You're not gonna have what was it, eight thousand pounds, pounds of force. force or a thirty strength check will get past it as well. But, no, no, that doesn't. No, eight thousand pounds more than that turns it off. The strength check can move it a little bit. Yeah, it moves it ten feet. <laughs> How much dr does it have though? Um, like. According to this, a billion. 
Just give me a second. Billion. <laughs> well, nap. Billion. So yeah, we uh, take, a, take a nap. Yeah, I see. Yeah, long rest in this lizard village here. <laughs> What's left of it, yeah. We didn't really we destroy didn't any of the village. Uh, the village doesn't have any more people. It's officially a ruin now. Yeah. Not until it starts to actually fall uh, apart. It's made by lizards. It's, it's a, already falling apart. It's abandoned, not ruined. Anybody it's not them? abandoned. Did anyone have <laughs> damage on them from the previous fight? Yeah, I took ten damage. Total. I did the last damage. couple fights. Hold on. Yeah, I have some, but I can take care of that myself. Yeah, we got a cure wounds, so... I do have... You got to take damage, right? But if he has ten, more or less, you have the spells, you heal each other before resting, is that what you're doing? I yep. have five spell slots for healing. So you heal him and then <laughs> regain your spell slots. We, we get it. <laughs> but I can roll these dice. <laughs> then I have to go do more editing. You heal it. I have, se <laughs> I have second level spell slots. Yeah, we get spells. it. He's healed. Okay. He's, you feel great. You feel great. I'd feel better if you got to roll. I could do two. Yeah, well, too bad. Then you feel like, miserable. You happy? I could happy? do two to plus like five heals. <laughs> I just make myself full health. Yeah, I take seven damage myself. Yeah. In the last fight, when I took, decided to accept a steel bash. Yeah, rest up. Next yeah. morning. Head back to other village. Let yeah. them know we took care of the splinter group. They're all dead now. The, the one that can speak your language. Grateful. As well, there's a other village set up now if you want an extra satellite village. Or you need just need supplies for huts. There are like the hill in there. Huts are made from the earth. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. There. So yeah, we go back to high ground. So you got like a four day trip ahead of you. Yep. Through this alligator gigantic and mosquito infested swamp. No, we don't. Well, when we got mosquitoes, she would sludge. <laughs> Purify. <laughs> Alligator. <laughs> anytime, anytime I use it, it just takes ten minutes out of my day. It's like, oh, okay, I cover this place in poison. Point being, a couple of them are probably annoying, but you've proven full well you can take care of them. I don't feel like running another of the same combat I already ran before. You, you also, I'd like to see what happens. You, you, you dedicated another couple of alligators <laughs> to be the enemy of the All-Father and smite them very well. <laughs> I don't think the Swiss girls would handle so well against a giant stream of poison goo. <laughs> Not many things would. Yeah, just... Um. Yeah, and then we go to high ground. So they can pay us. So, we go so, down so, they can assist, so we can assist them with their uh, giant siege. Hey, what, what do you mean, pay you? <laughs> we should get paid. We don't get paid. We refuse what? payment. We're nice guys. I didn't refuse payment. And if nothing else... Your payment is knowing you've done good work. And maybe a hundred gold pearl. Maybe. <laughs> can you always yeah, you, you did just receive... Hey. By the way, I'll just point it out since he didn't share the information. You did just receive a hundred gold. What? I didn't get a hundred gold. From where? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, nope, that's a bag. That's a full bag. Yeah. That's a full bag. I don't know what's in it, and I'm not willing to pull that thing out. <laughs> so eventually, you will find that at this point, I did give I, I did give them a hundred gold at this point. It's I have no reason to know. It's a full bag. I don't want to pull it out. It might be bad things in it. Could be a full bag of like Confederate gold. Yeah. Or it could be a full bag of poison. That could be a devouring bag. It could be a cursed patch. Just one patch on the row is cursed. <laughs> when you pull it off, it explodes. Well, I have that in my secret notes, which one that is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bag of gold. <laughs> it's one of the mirrors. When, when you say I pull off a mirror, and I say, do you pull off the first mirror or the second mirror? That's when you say, never mind, I don't need a mirror anyway. <laughs> Whichever one's on the left. Why would you ever need a mirror? Whichever one's I've on never left. been like, gee willikers, I could really use a mirror. It, to be fair, they're one of the items on there that is the, you can pull this off to test the item and make sure it works so you don't care that you did whatever beer. <laughs> there are a couple patches on there. Where and also, they're not mirrors, they're like uh, metal plates. Yeah. I'm not building a tank, I don't need metal plates. They're not shiny metal plates or reflective metal plates, they're metal plates. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not hard to get reflection in uh, cloth patches. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the point, I don't know what it is, they should have just wrote the mirror. <laughs> Pull it off and produces mana. 
So you, you you know you make your few days and um, and you're at this point in high spirits when you get work. You know, and and it's maybe it's, what, it's past noon, maybe three, four. Um, got someone around there, maybe a little later. You're you're a couple hours away from high ground, really, and um, and from that direction, most certainly, you hear blasting of war horns. <laughs> Wait, metal? What metal concert? No, it's uh, Siege of Giants. Yeah, see, Giant Siege. Giant Is that Siege. the name of the metal band? <laughs> It'd be a pretty good name for a metal. Did band. I, like, it would be did a I great that, name did for I, a metal did band. Did I do like do that symbol or something? No. Uh, then why? Are you, I don't. Are you just. Because we're a few miles away, hearing a rock- ruckus noise. Excuse me if I think you hear metal the blast band. of war horns. That sounds pretty metal. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> you know what? You did better though. With you being who you are, you managed not to do it. He's the one with problems. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, Nick. Yeah, we get we get in there. We need to we need to hurry to help the assist the town. Yes, before but, it's turned to rubble. Because it's been brought up. To go back to that tangent, who was the superhero's name in Pete and Pete? I forget. The tangent I was thinking of is when he said Jared and, and Pete, and then he said, "You said Pete he, Jerry. he said Jared, Jerry." That's Pete not Jerry. what I heard. Pete and Jerry. It's not what I heard. I heard Jared, and all I could think of was the subway guy. He you know, went Pete and Pete, and I thought of the superhero who moved the house like six inches to the left. So when the dad went to put his key in, it wouldn't go because it's slightly to the left. <laughs> Is the dad blind? No! He's just a muscle memory. It goes here. But the door's not there. Why ain't door there? Dude sounds like a dick. <laughs> it's a horrible way to use superpowers. <laughs> so you're, you're you're moving, you're on your way towards there. Uh, and I said, you do? We, ha- we hurry. You hurry? I yeah. hurry. I Anyone hurry. else hurry? Sure. Yeah. 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 It's like I shouldn't sit and think of a group. They have free will. But, uh... We're just going to leave you in the dust. Well, that's still, you know, more, more than an hour. Maybe you get it a little under two hours. Yeah. You, get, you, you, you get there. And, and when you arrive at, uh, at high ground, it's it's still in the middle of siege. Um, essentially, you, you, you come across it at the back, and there are areas, you know, while, while most of the back wall is still intact, yeah. there are areas that have been knocked through that you can essentially enter the city through if you so choose. Um, you can definitely see that it is currently under siege. The frost giants have entered, um, as have trolls. If you take some time to try and essentially evaluate what's going on, or do you rush in, or what, what do you... Uh, evaluate do, it first. Yeah, right. Do we what? have a... It is, well, it's more just like, how many people are here? How many enemies are there? Do we have a chance of turning this? Um, let's see. Uh, generally, the idea being, of the frost giants, there's probably around between, you know, you're, you're the in city. Based on looking away and things, there's at least going to be eight. There's definitely less than twenty. Um, I don't think we can take one. You need to be able to take a troll. Yeah, and, and, and so now we have a flaming sword. Yeah, and and there's maybe now, you know, two dozen trolls, uh, maybe a few more. It's a good thing we didn't just leave the sword. <laughs> um, and generally, they, they seem to be smashing things up, you know, smashing through buildings. And, and almost looking at it, it looks like they're looking for something. Like almost the more something from the giants. Almost more than they're trying yeah. to, to destroy yeah. Somebody things. stole a golden goose or something. <laughs> Maybe a baby. <laughs> Somebody was doing bad things here. Even so, we got to go try to help them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and, and as you arrive, you know, it's definitely, you know, evening is, is coming... Relatively soon, but yeah, that's an impediment for us. I'm pretty sure trolls have dark vision. I have a flaming sword. Yeah. Well, well, I guess we can go try to find a troll. We might be able to take one of them. Okay. Find and help out some dudes that are being attacked. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Get up to a troll and pull a flaming sword and try to intimidate it to leave. In the name of the All Father. <laughs> intimidate it to leave. Be gone, foul creature. Dialogue our way through this battle. Uh, probably a better chance. Like I said, we, we ain't gonna probably have no chance against the Giants. Uh, 21. Win. On the Intimidate check. Not without some divine intervention. 
What, do, you, do you have any idea how that works, or is it just however I feel like? I believe it's however you feel like. Okay. Um, more or less, it, it, it does sort of back away down to another street. It, it sort of leaves the fight it is, and o- almost as if seeking a, a fight elsewhere. <laughs> it doesn't want to deal with the guy with the flaming sword. Yeah. Scary guy with flaming sword. I'll go elsewhere. I know the body parts don't regrow with that one. I'm going to find one with you, do. Yeah. Broken palms here. Yeah. Make them reconsider her decision. <laughs> there is. There's someone I can fight over there. <laughs> no problem. Um. How big are what you? It, how big are gi- you? Anyone? Giant? Oh, I'll take him. Do, oh, no, no. Do you speak giant? Yes, I do speak giant. You do speak giant. No, he he. I seems totally to, speak giant. Because yeah, I said to you, his response is going to be in giant of, uh, you know, of stupid fire. Get away! Get away! Get away! <laughs> I just kind of go, well, you want to check me instead? I'm giant. My sword's normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does, he does, he really does. <laughs> oh, bring it, yeah, let's do this. Uh, that's the point, there's like, there's actual giants. Are there any giants, like, near us? You're relatively? Within 60 feet. Um, if you want one to be. You can easily move to let there be. How big of a space do giants take up? Giants... The giants are, let's see, they're are huge. How much space do they take? I don't know. In the four, four squares? I don't know squares. This game doesn't use squares. Just two. No, okay. there's optional he, rules here, to use squares. Here's my actual question. If I cast Grease on the giant's feet, <laughs> <laughs> will he fall down? Or is he too big? Yeah, and that's, Grease says otherwise, it prob- probably fall down. Might damage some stuff, though. Yeah, but he's on the uh, ground. No, now. huge is nine. Huh? Huge is nine. He might fall down. But he's I'm just saying, if he falls down, I can run over, put the immovable rod in between his neck and his chin, and push the button. I'm pretty sure he can make 30 straight. Well, he moves 10 feet, so he's just. Uh, 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 uh. No, he moves up a little bit, and then he slides around. That would still take a turn. Yeah, if, I, if there's a giant. Uh... But the giants specifically are the ones that are doing less of the fighting and more of the searching. The, the uh, trolls are distracting and they're they're taking on the, the guard. Uh, then giants are destroying things more than people. All right, then I go. Not on. necessarily being careful I not to throw bits of rubble onto people. Yeah, I find a group of people defending against trolls and going out the. Well, I'm fighting a troll. Yeah, you can go for it. I'm going to go over to some defenders. and I'm going to drop bless on them. Okay. Give us uh, some bonus. More importantly, Nick, you have to stick around so when I down this troll, you can catch my fire. Because <laughs> I don't want to be sitting there with my foot. Yeah, what, 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 what going, are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on, go ahead. Uh, try and find some defenders. Yeah. yeah. Find someone here. Yeah. Find someone or someone's. Yeah. Easy enough, yes. Yeah. And, and Either they're, way. They're not, like, getting totally wrecked, right? Yeah. I'm, 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 like, I'm assuming that these people can fight well enough that I'm not wasting my time. Using because of their numbers, then yeah. They definitely have numbers on the attacking force. Yeah, and I go over and I'll start, uh, or I get in there, drop a bless, so I give it to me and three others. Okay. I use a second level spell slot for my bless. Okay. Which gives me four targets. Mm-hmm. So me plus three others. And, and, and you were fighting uh, your troll? When you... I bless me and Bob. They double team the troll. He didn't know that this was a menage on trois. <laughs> Plus a d4. Unless you're worried that's not going to hit. Third. Nope, 15. Hit. Yeah. That's a hit. Yeah. 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 Six damage. Pierce. Piercing, yes, six piercing damage. Okay. Oh, and also, I'm angry. Get angry, get mean! And, uh, and the, 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 the troll is gonna attack you. That tries to bite you. It's not 17. I think he might actually need less. But 15 doesn't fit. So. No. And he tries to claw you. 21. Oh. Then he tries to claw you again. 21 hits. Yes. Yeah, point, point me. I was going to do all my attack rolls first. Uh, so with the one claw that did hit, he deals 15 damage. I know you divide it in half, but still. I'm guessing that stone. It's 
That took seven damage. Down to thirty. And he's gonna back away. So he's disengaging after his attack? Mm-hmm. That's an action. No, it's a movement. So you get a swing. Oh. <laughs> Let's do four. Well, well maybe. That'll hit anyway. Mm-hmm. Plus only once Two. around or anytime you make an attack. It doesn't matter, it would hit anyways. Seventeen? Yeah. Yeah, but plus D4 on attack and save. Can you make one? Uh nine damage. Few of the other, you know, soldiers are attacking the troll you're fighting, of course. Same with you. They're uh, totally gonna spot the, some face. Are any of the soldiers near me um, badly wounded? Not the ones actively fighting, but yeah, you can find... If you're looking for badly wounded soldiers, you can definitely find those around and almost trying to crawl into corners to be out away and... <laughs> uh, below half health. Yeah, easily below half health. Um, I channel divinity. I channel preserve life. I can divvy up 20 hit points of healing between any number of targets within 30 feet, but only up to half health. Okay. Yeah, you, you can get some a few more guys... Back in the bat- battle again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually using my cleric spells. <laughs> uh, and then... Victory through numbers. What about me? Technically, you, you're at three, and you decide to go ahead of time earlier. Yeah, okay. I'm willing to accept this. And I let you do it because it was affecting him. <laughs> I was like, whatever, it's, it's not that important. Uh, 13 damage. Yeah, preserve life is on the spell. He's still okay. He's not doing too great. Uh, but enough that he's going to try and attack you again. That hit. That is Nine. Uh, claws at you for nine damage. Do do do. Call swing. <laughs> With my new flaming sword. Power attack. He thought he was getting away from this sword. Yeah. He rolled an 18. 18 hit? Mm-hmm. Is it a D6 fire damage? It's a D10 and a D6. And radiant, if you want. Mm-hmm. Eight. Just really drive on the thing. Do you get to re-roll any- the magical ones, too? What is it that gives that to you? It's weapon damage. Yeah, but the magic it's a feat. And it's weapon damage. So that would be weapon damage, yeah. Okay. I don't know if that counts as one. Yeah, it, 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 hey, look it up after with us. But for this session, it counts. <laughs> You're fighting a guy significantly higher than you should be. <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem with having good alignment. You've got to go to the fight. Yeah, let's drop that to me. Drop a first level spell. I'm pretty sure he's going to be vulnerable to fire. Yeah. But what is that at? D10? 2D8s. What's in the hand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven. Seven. No. All, all fire does is it keeps it for him from regenerating oh. the health. Otherwise, he regains 10 health every turn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that sucks. I couldn't even kill this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bad thing you took a thing you didn't take him on alone. One, two, three, four, thirty-four. And uh, how much? Of, some of that was fire. Uh, five was fire. Five fire. Okay. All right. Uh, is that it? Right. Your turn. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go back down to one spell. <laughs> then we're fighting trolls. Unless you want to seek out a giant. No, I'm good. We're good. Fighting trolls. Fighting trolls, fighting soldiers, whatever you want. Yeah, helping people out, doing doing cool stuff. Um, yeah. So the soldiers look like I mean they're having trouble, but they more or less got the troll thing. They're dealing with it with numbers, right? Doing their best. I'm trying to make the assessment of whether I should just focus on healing people or fighting, considering I have to roll to fight. <laughs> it's like I try to avoid that. 
You're, uh, there definitely is nobody else around capable of healing uh, no, as that's quick as you. Um, yeah. and, and you I you're pop out the familiar. Okay. Um, my familiar is going to go and look for people that are dying. Okay. Yeah, Spare the dying? Yeah. It, it can display my touch spells. Yeah. So I can do things while it, while it gets to them, and then I can spare the dying okay. to keep people alive. Um, and if I don't do that, then I can just uh, use attack spells, I guess. Trolls don't have metal armor? Mm. No? No? Mm. Didn't think so? Didn't think so. Um, are the trolls, uh, are they trolls, like, they, they, they seem to, like, attack everyone or attack, like, one person at a time? That one's only attacking Pop so far. You guys got that. <laughs> like the other ones, like the ones that were fighting with the, with the group of dudes. So they, like, some, will, so, some will pick a target, others kind of go spastic. It, it, it seems to be more of an individual basis. Yeah, then whatever. I just, I focus on, yeah, I'm just not that great at fighting trolls. Um, I don't really have any fire damage, which seems to be effective against trolls, apparently. Mm-hmm. To use Burger 2. Uh, so yeah, I just focus on healing people's up and uh, keeping them alive. Okay. Which it means I'm burning spells, but, you know. Nothing else. Spare the dying is so zero level, right? Yeah, spare the dying is a cantrip. Keeps okay. people alive. So you're doing that? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I, Bob? I use my familiar for that. So, you're playing the Phoenix today, are we? Yeah. Nobody dies today, so says the All Father. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants I, to convert? <laughs> and he takes five damage. As we just walk out of the swamp, start murdering trolls and healing. All Father! Forest Walker. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have a damn flick sword, sir. <laughs> Nor are you fearing here from dying. No, I'm just space tanking like a boss. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> the uh, you got that. Well, one right. of the soldiers just to your left is just torn to shreds. Oh, look out, sir! We're all with look out, sir. Weapons. <laughs> this guy just like rips him in half. Look at this. You're like, like, you're, 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 you're like all bled. I didn't get anyone killed. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of widows uh, of archers that would say otherwise. <laughs> uh, that was not this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that guy's just dead. Dead. Um, the bits of him around would suggest you at least have to glue them back together. <laughs> Do you have glue? No, and I don't have Revivify either, so... Well, no, neither do I. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you... And that would be a waste to use it on, you know... <laughs> Guardsman 327? Yeah. Hey. Hey, don't... If I have the cash and you sold my friend... I'm just saying that he would get a name. <laughs> Don't you die. He's going to go home, honey, guess what? And he's like, what? I got a name! <laughs> Heroes done game Swing one. It. <laughs> troll. Bad troll. Bad! Power attack. <laughs> Do you translate? <laughs> yes, totally translate. I don't think you made it. Oh. Eleven? Miss. Mm. To be fair, technically, you, you make contact. He's just not feeling it. <laughs> I was really hoping the burning and magical might overcome that. No, it's not the way that the, the rules of the game work. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. he may have had magical DR, but it's probably just natural armor. <laughs> the one that, you know, is biting your guys, as well as several of the giants, you know, as the sun is setting, and, and, and they start moving back, you know, north. You know, they, they disengage, and they start to move north. Cool. The, uh... I give orders to... The uh, guardsmen you're with, the, the remaining, uh, manage to take down the troll you're fighting. Kills you. But they they if, secure if, your kill. Yeah, if anybody in my group is stupid enough, I tell them not to chase them. I'm just, just saying, back, I get say... The, get the wounded together. I saved at least three guardsmen by face tanking. Um, and, and, and with you, and definitely agreeing in, 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 his, in his, you know, essentially the the, the shouts he's, he's giving um, is, uh, is Luke, Luke V. Uh, the guy with the accent? Yeah. Yeah, the guy with the we-don't-know-where-he's-from accent. Yeah, whatever. Big Fabian. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we get the get the wounded together, gather them up, get to doing my clerical duties. And in in general, and from the shouts that you hear from some of the other towers, where where you know guards have been you know shooting down from from up high, um, 
you know, you, you, you hear essentially the note that the, the, the giants are returning to the north once again. I also go around looking for anyone looking really bad. A point of healing here, a point of healing there. Just stabilizing them. Because I don't have zero level spells. I, I walk around them. and just go, wow, sucks to be you guys. <laughs> you guys should learn how to face tank better. <laughs> you heard about being a barbarian? It's great. Walk around with the sword held high, calling for people. <laughs> Trying to use it as a beacon of hope. <laughs> Flaming sword's notoriously not super hopeful. That's super hopeful. But, uh... Yeah. And just letting everyone know, yeah. healing them in the name of the all Yeah, and, and, as and, I go and if people healing. can't be moved, the familiar can be as far as 100 feet away from me and still transfer my touch spells. So we can roam around looking for people in, like, buildings and stuff. Being a smart little weasel in it is. <laughs> just, just sitting there going, I don't know, I was in the building, I was bleeding out, I was ready to be my maker, and then this weasel showed up, and I suddenly felt better. God's <laughs> ferret showed up. <laughs> <laughs> the old father has a ferret. All hail the holy animal. <laughs> <laughs> Second you, you talk, get the camera so on I, us, I, we I, stop I, talking. <laughs> You're only allowed to talk with the camera points at you. I little, feel like it's a little, little camera shy. <laughs> just all it's a little camera shy. <laughs> Maybe I just I just know how the thing works. I managed to do it just fine. But otherwise, yeah, you I just range, suck at it. Yeah, I'd like to point out you weren't doing it at all today. For all it, that. it was over right next to you all day. I haven't had uh you know I haven't I haven't had it. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's in the middle of the table. Yeah, it's not mine. This isn't salt. It's camera. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as you're doing that, and, and after a little bit of, of working on that, um, Ludwig approaches you. Thank you yet again, and from word, the river is starting to clear. Again, is that the same text? As okay, the it's, like, it's like four di- days. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, we turned that off like a day ago. No, it's been like four or five days. And it's like, yeah, we put out source of the poison. Oh, some lizards. Some bad ones. Very grateful. So, what'd you steal from the Giants? I do not believe we've stolen anything. Uh, the Giants think you stole something. I mean, that's pretty obvious. The Giants are monsters. You're helpful, though. You should meet Zigamer. Is, it, well, is, it, got is the governor's, governor's name anyway. Z? Yeah. No, no, Governor Charles Alberdeen. Alberdeen. Sounds like he owns a tuna company. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's a tuna company name. If I ever heard one. <laughs> if I ever heard one. Apparently, <laughs> apparently that's a thing. So yeah, we meet Zigger. Zigger? Ziggy Stardust? What'd he say? Governor oh, Charles Governor. Alberdeen. I couldn't hear him underneath the this, tuna this king. horrible savage drawl. <laughs> his drawl is just overpowering. The, like southern slash German slash French. Uh, that Whatever comes out draw. at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't know. He has that 120 pound draw. <laughs> yeah, we go and meet whoever. Talk to them about why you're messing with the Giants, yo. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he'll. Because he, it's like, yeah, Giants siege, and that's weird. Why? Are they starving? Did you take their food? Did you take something from them? Are you mugging Giants? Should we go talk to them? That's probably what we're going to do. I think we should go back to that. It's like two weeks to go down to that first town. Yeah, and they'll notice it's fixed when the water stops being black and death. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, the water travels much faster than any note we sent them. Unless we throw a bottle in the river. Yeah. Uh, which still could get caught on something and take forever to get there. That doesn't happen. Doesn't happen in the movies. Doesn't happen in D&D. Totes does. <laughs> oh, damn. Can't argue with totes. <laughs> I would have gone with, that's your response. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't argue with totes. <laughs> they are just such a convenient storage place. Indeed. But yes, um, good job, site. You, you, you're brought to what is, you know, a, a, a bit smashed up on the left side, but otherwise, nice governor's mansion. <laughs> Uh, the majority, you know, brought into the main hall, which is essentially a long, you know, meeting hall, but more or less the far end, more set up like an office. Um, 
where, where, where there is a small assembly okay. of people meeting here at night, you know, just following the uh, the siege on their city. Um, yeah, it's not a siege anymore. It was a successful breach of the walls. It's an assault. But it was following the siege. The siege did happen. Maybe before, but... didn't maybe. seem like a very long siege. We, yeah, we, we were here four days ago, and they weren't. It wasn't really a siege. It, it was like a week and a half yeah, ago. The, we the, were here these, eight days these, ago. These what? giants are never sieging this town. How They're just eight days in. a week and a half to you? I don't know. It's, you it's round up to a, a half. <laughs> it's more than a week. You round up. Yeah, you round <laughs> down. Yeah, it's more than a week. Might as well have been a month. <laughs> Could have been a year. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I'm, I'm not great with time. I'll keep track of this. But anyways, uh, you know, uh, Ludwig walks up and he, he, you know, he says, "You wait," and he talks to him and comes back and says, says "Yes, of course." Uh, what are your actions, both in the water and for what you have done here, just happening upon our city and being so grateful to help? He would, of course, like to like to honor you. Um, please come forward. Yeah, and he, and he sort of leads you up the hall, um, Star Wars style family photo. If you insist. Uh, and, and, and without really inviting to an audience, generally the people around just sort of continuing to talk. He's as you're walking forward, he seems to be digging through. Uh, ah, here's a metal goalie. Th- yeah, th- through. <laughs> you know what? Would you shut up? <laughs> 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 Quit reading my notes. <laughs> sure he that. digs through his drawer. I only found two metals. Out you can three matching stable. brooches. <laughs> I only have two medals. Here's a stapler. <laughs> That's all I got. That's very important. <laughs> he just shows like. <laughs> but yeah, he, he he pulls out three three metal brooches, copper pins. Um, Can I see that wand? Hmm? Wand. You're gonna cast use a wand right in front of the governor. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking about casting detect magic on his brooches. <laughs> if they're just normal brooches, like, okay. <laughs> they're, they're probably normal brooches. I, I was really, you know, thinking about summoning the wolf so we had our Wookiee representative. <laughs> Who, by the way, would not be getting one. Yeah, I know. As the Wookie, the Wookie. <laughs> yeah, the Wookiee doesn't get a medal. Ah, <laughs> uh, new hope. <laughs> Yeah, get our get our copper brooches, please. Copper, really? Yeah, a little, a little copper pins. We're not even worth silver. Uh, and, and, well, and, if you would try it a little harder. And and he sort of get, gets up and he walks around the the, the the his desk to you and presents each one. Uh, they they have the uh, the same um, that highway design that the mountain with the little city that was on the weather patch that Luke, Luke the Luke gave you. Yeah, that I still have. Yes. Um, and, and he declares you favorite of high ground. In a in a grand tone to the sparsely populated room, <laughs> all of whom are working on something else. <laughs> but yeah, see, almost as that sort of presentation of of you know, thank you very much. You are favored of high ground. He doesn't have that accent. Yeah, that as is. as the page goes running by, go woo! But that's all we get. It's just <laughs> did, one page. Did, did you get the note from the governor of River as in, sir? Hmm. Yes. I'm, uh, yes. Some some. Some a week ago, yes. It really was beyond my control. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, you couldn't have done it about it. We fixed it. Yeah. We fixed it. We're just making sure you got the notes. <laughs> <laughs> making sure that one guy delivered it. Yeah. If you didn't, we have to have him killed. <laughs> For the all father. <laughs> you should probably I feel like that everyone should just be really proud of my restraint. <laughs> Because frost giants are attacking, and we have representatives of the All Father. Father, when we what we really need is a Thor. <laughs> <laughs> you notice how you just lost your restraint, though? I didn't lose it. I held on as long as I could, and I let go. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, Governor okay. Albert Dean walks up giant mall. <laughs> he walks back around and, and, and sits at his desk before, essentially, in his opinion, starting a new conversation. Oh, almost calling forward a, a couple of of the men. Um, you know, around to be part of it. Uh, you know, generally making consensus, assuring that others agree, um, a truce needs to be arranged with the Frost Giants. Um, and, and sort of casually turning in your direction, um, does mention that he is hopeful that the favorite of High Ground would show favor to the city in attempting to arrange one. You can speak to his trolls. 
Yeah, I speak. You you can also understand the giants. You know. Yeah, I, I, I'm like I speak giant, but this brass one isn't shiny. It's brass. If we it's do it, shiny. It, yeah. if, if we do that, can I get a silver one that looks just like this? That may be arranged. We'd have to speak with the smiths. Let's go. Please. I'll take a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I work for maybe. It's like obviously they're gonna know the water's clean because it's gonna travel back to the message. But if we could get a message down there just for propriety's sake, it'll it'll take some time for yeah. us to do that. We must resecure the walls. This is the uh, third siege they've given a given to it's us. Not a siege; it's an assault. This so, would be the first assault. This is the third siege. Really? They busted up the walls last time when we were here, right? They did not enter the city. They broke the bridge. Oh, they had broken the bridge. No, no, I'm pretty sure they broke the bridge themselves. Uh, also, one technically, of those pronouns Technically, broke the as you're going through the city, unlike last time, you see what breaks things, and they're giant chunks of ice. Free water? Yeah, yeah that's, that's actually what they used for, for last time and why they were less concerned. Yeah, we have water. <laughs> How do you know? The giants brought us some. <laughs> <laughs> nice guys. Even while they're breaking our city, they're keeping us... That's silver lining if I've ever heard of <laughs> <laughs> Our city walls are destroyed, but at least we have something to drink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll have to... What, have they been attacking? So they haven't been attacking every day. They're attacking like every couple days. Uh, they they come maybe once every week or two. Yeah. Not so, um, well, yeah, that, but also... Uh, we can stay like a day and a half to make sure that anyone, everyone in the city is stable. There aren't any like dying people. I'm not leaving anyone dying here. Very well. I have the power to avoid that, so everyone's going to at least be on bed rest when I leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there you are. I should take that long since I generally, that's only zero on spells. We happen to notice during this assault that they seem to be looking for something. Do you know what it is? We have no clue. We've noticed as well. Okay. <laughs> Tell him somebody stole something. My adventure sense is tainted. <laughs> it's a perk of being a player character. It's a passive trait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a night. Uh, spare the dying. It's all yeah. over the place. Make, make sure people are, are relatively healed up for resting yourselves. And yeah. You pretty much set out the, you know. In the morning, no rest for the righteous. <laughs> I mean, I we totally, totally do sleep. rest. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do rest. Well, is, except for that eight hours. That it's, well, you we remember. will not rest until it's found. And and everyone all and everyone up for lunch? You know, make, <laughs> uh, fix your own math before fixing others. It's a yeah. basic thing. you got to help yourself first. Otherwise, you can run into problems helping other people. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, but before really all, even getting to that, as you're weaving the hall with your with your oh, new just, copper pins... I totally do that on it. That's like underneath the hooks of yeah, uh, essentially as you're leaving, one, one of the stewards of the hall does approach each of you and sort of gives you what is a small hump and sap pie, in which is, for each of you, five gold coins. Hey, five gold coins. <laughs> I'll take so, it. Sort of a, it's half of a shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough, gen generally the idea being, you know, get food I'm, for your travels kind of thing. Of <laughs> I'm just going to change all of get my information on money for how what percentage of a shield is it. Do you need another shield? No. No, it's just the only thing that's been bought. Yeah, it's the only thing I bought. No, no, really. It's the only thing that has been bought, period. Exclamation yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> but, but otherwise, yes, uh, the next morning, you... you I know. wonder if this token will just get us a free stay in an inn. Favorite oh, no, no, no one seems to know what it is. Uh, <laughs> and more than likely, the thing that gets a free stay in the inn is we have weapons and armor and there was a siege. Yeah. That's why we have free state in it. I don't have one. Also, healing people in the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He, healing some people, doing like that, yeah, no. You, Clerics don't you, pay you, for stays. <laughs> <laughs> Not that anyone injured around. <laughs> it's like, what do I look like? Somebody with money? Yeah. Purified like, food and drink. It's like, ignore this bag of gold. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't actually exist. Those are alms for the church. Anything else before you set out in the morning? No, I'm good. Okay, so they're, uh, they're getting ready to... Uh, to head north towards the, the mountains, uh, leaving from high ground, and uh, that is where we will pick up when we return. Have a good day.